Hi everyone, Chef Nick Peters Bond here, and this is Commanding Your Kitchen. On today's episode, we are making barbecue ribs indoors. Yes, that's right, inside. And we're gonna be using two of the most widely spread pieces of equipment that I've seen in a while. It is the air fryer and the Instapot. This is a two for one recipe. The snow is crazy here in New England. It's having me crave summer and that barbecue flavor. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that indoors in your own home like a pro. All right, so we have our ribs here and the dry rub, the full recipe of my dry rub will be on my Patreon. Um, give you the gist of it. It's salt, pepper, brown sugar, ground mustard, paprika, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so sprinkle some on here. And you're gonna wanna definitely liberally season these on both sides, including the underside. And if your butcher or your grocery store, wherever you get ribs from, if they have the option that you can take off the um, membrane underneath, I would suggest doing that. It just makes for a more pleasurable eating experience when you're having your ribs. So as you can see, I'm really getting in there and rubbing it all around. I'll show you the other side. And so that amount of rub is probably perfect for these two racks of baby back ribs. So for my Instapot, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my racks in half. Mine's only gonna fit about one, one rack at a time. If you have a bigger one, please feel free to do this. And don't worry, if you don't have an Instapot, you don't have to use it. You could basically use an oven and I would set the oven at like 300 degrees. And these are gonna take about two hours in the oven versus a half an hour in the Instapot. So that just shows you how much time it cuts down on. So in your Instapot, we're gonna put, it's this is one bottle of beer. You can use any light beer or lager, nothing with too much of like a crazy flavor. This is just a little bit of liquid to help really cook those ribs down and also just really flavor them. Put the ribs in, you're gonna close the lid and turn it on for a half an hour on high pressure on your Instapot. Okay, so while my ribs are in the Instapot starting to cook, for about a half an hour, I'm now gonna start my barbecue sauce. Of course, you could use a, your favorite brand of store bar barbecue sauce, but I have the time tonight and I'm gonna to make some homemade. So I always start my barbecue sauce with some kind of tomato product. If you don't have ketchup, that's totally fine. You can use a can of tomato sauce. It just might not have as much complex flavor because ketchup does already have you know sugar and vinegar added to it. I'm now adding mustard and some sriracha. Yellow mustard's fine. I'm using stone ground Dijon. A decent amount of brown sugar. I also sometimes add molasses. And then in here I have apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire, and a little bit of liquid smoke because that stuff goes a long way, so you don't wanna use too much. And that's gonna kind of mimic the flavor of having a smoked rib without having a smoked rib. <laughs> so we're gonna let this cook down for about 10, 15 minutes on a gentle simmer and let all those flavors combine. And then we will taste it for seasoning. I am going to add a little bit of the same similar spices that we did on our ribs to kind of mimic that flavor. So I'm going to add in a little bit of paprika, a pinch of salt, some black pepper, and then some garlic and onion powder into here. So once your spices are added, just give it a little mix. And the fun thing about this barbecue sauce is I'm going to take the beer that we had cooked our ribs in and I'm going to also add that to our barbecue sauce. And that's just going to really fortify this sauce with so much extra flavor from the pork, as well as that beer that we added in there. So we'll let this cook for about an additional 10 minutes. Okay, so my Instapot timer just went off and I let the steam vent out. So I'm opening it up. They look great. I'm going to take them out carefully because at this stage they're already fairly cooked because of the Instapot and the air fryer is just gonna continue to, um, continue to cook those and give them some good color. So you can see the dry rub is still on there. And we have a ton of liquid in this Instapot because the meat itself does give off a lot of liquid, but I think I'm only gonna use maybe a half a cup to a cup of that beer liquid for the barbecue sauce. So I added about a half a cup of that pork beer liquid that we had inside of our Instapot. I'm just mixing that in and I'm gonna baste these ribs just a little bit, and I'll probably end up leaving some barbecue sauce on the side as well. So I'm gonna baste them. And then once they get inside the air fryer, they're gonna be so caramelized and 
you're gonna think that these were on a grill or these were like under your boiler. You have you were you know you were waiting hours for these ribs, but in reality, 30 minutes inside the Instapot, and then an additional 15 in the air fryer. And the air fryer is just gonna caramelize all those sugars in that sauce. Wait to see these. This is gonna look bomb. All right, so my air fryer is done preheating. So take the basket out. And I do like to spray mine with just a little bit of Pam. I know this obviously this is a non-stick coating inside, but the less clean up the better. Am I right? All right, so I'm gonna take like two of these at a time in my air fryer. You can hear it's already preheating and that sauce is caramelizing already. It sounds so good. So there's one more in there. So I'm gonna do these two at a time. And so we're gonna set this for that temperature is gonna be 390 for 15 minutes. And that's gonna be perfect. The ribs will then be falling apart tender. The barbecue sauce will be caramelized. They'll be like lacquered on there. It's gonna be awesome. All right. So this is one of the half racks that we've taken out of the air fryer. As you can see how like lacquered that barbecue sauce is on there. I did took mine out halfway through cooking and I added some more sauce to it. Um, just kind of like a layer that on there so you can see the ribs are falling apart. They're so tender, but they still stay in that bone so you still can be able to take a bite into that. Wow, these are so tender. And that was what, half an hour in the Instapot and 10, 15 minutes inside the air fryer and you have perfectly cooked, tender ribs, homemade barbecue sauce. All right guys, so that is our barbecue ribs indoors in an air fryer in an Instapot. I'm telling you, you saw how tender they were when I cut through them. So good, I'm drooling thinking about it. The barbecue sauce on top, caramelized with that brown sugar in there. And it's such an easy barbecue sauce. You might even have that stuff in your pantry already. So I hope you give this recipe a try during quarantine. This is really awesome barbecue ribs indoors. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe as always. The full amounts will be on my Patreon, which I will link down below. Big shout out to all my subscribers on my Patreon. I will also give you guys a shout out down below as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you made it to the end. And as always, you got this.